Good morning, fishing girl. We are down here at Matanzas Beach this morning and we're going to be checking out some new equipment. I'm going to be throwing some lures. I'm looking for maybe bluefish, um, maybe some Spanish mackerel with the type of lures that I'm going to be throwing. So I've also got my set rigs. We're going to see what we can get this morning. So we'll catch you down at the beach. We are hitting it before the sun comes up, finally. Got my hubby here helping me out today, pulling the cart. Loaded down, we're gonna be testing some new poles. So the rod I have here, this is a Ninja Dagger. Eight foot, six inches. It is, right, here's all the information. A 10 to 20 pound line, half an ounce to uh, one and a half ounce lure, medium and heavy fast action. So I've got a lure on here. This is about an, I think an ounce, ounce and a half. One that they sent to me to test out. I love how it's bright pink for Fishing Girl World and we're going to just test out and see what we can do with it. Wow, that just shoots out. Holy cow, I've never, I have never <laughs> been able to throw a lure that quick. Just a straight retrieve, fast retrieve, which is good for bluefish, for Spanish mackerel. Just that fast, straight retrieve is what's going to attract them. And here comes the lure back in. Throw it back out. Look how far that shoots. Look how, do you see how far that shoots? I've never been able to cast a lure that fast, that, that far. It just shoots out like an arrow. Check this out. This is the Ninja Dagger. Watch, watch how straight this goes and how far it goes. I'm like hardly given, I'm like hardly given any effort. It's, it's out there. I think I love this rod already. It's just amazing. Just the way that it shoots out there. Look at that. I've never been able to control a rod like that. Okay, we're on the other side of this. I keep getting bugs up my nose. <laughs> There's all these little, uh, you know, CMs out here at the beach today. Yeah, loving the way this casts. It's beautiful. Honestly, can't wait to fish with some friends so they can test this out too, so they can try it. This is such a nice casting. Okay, we're gonna pull my cart down a bit. We're gonna work our way down. All right, I moved down just a teeny bit more. I'm gonna try this a little bit, and then we'll set up some set rigs maybe. If you've been watching my videos any length of time and seen me trying to throw artificial, well, a lot of times I cut out <laughs> throwing artificial because it just doesn't work for me as well. But in the videos where I've kept that in there, you'll you'll know that I I just can never cast it that far. That's it's amazing. I might move down because there is a hole there and a point. There's a lot more structure down that way than there is right here, so I may go ahead and just move down there. It's only, it's not 7.30. I can get down there by 7.30 and still have an hour and a half to fish. Here we are at the point. Oh, little boat coming out from the, through the inlet. So we're going to get these set rigs going and see what can happen. So I just want to give a quick shout out 
to David Armstrong. Dave Armstrong, he donated two of these, these two sand spikes right here uh, that Brian Curlett makes. They are so helpful, so amazing. I am so thank Thank you so much, Dave, for donating these um, to Fish and Girl. They're going to really help me out a lot as I'm tra training and teaching people. I don't have to bring a mallet out here anymore. I just put this in here, but let's, I'll show you how easy this is. You know, normally you're going back and forth and back and forth, but you've got this foot bar. You can use your, your foot to give more weight. Get this thing in here, back and forth, back and forth, pushing down on the foot bar, and that's that easy. So thank you so much, Dave, for donating those sand spikes. They're being super helpful for me already. We're gonna get these set rigs set up. I've got one out here already. Let me get two more and see what happens. Let's see what we got here. Didn't look like it was going anywhere, so I wasn't too worried. Either that sinker is really stuck or something. Oh, it's because I got a good sized catfish right there. Well, at least he got the skunk out. I've got a couple lines ready to go. I'm gonna get them casted out, we'll see what we got. Hopefully more than catfish. All right, been out here fishing, working on stuff, caught a big catfish. And then I saw this. Andy just hanging in his saltwater bath. Watch me do a trick. You scared those fish right there. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video. I didn't get to do a wrap up video on the beach. So looking back on that day, it was actually the middle of July. And I, you know, I, who wants to just only catch a catfish when they go out, but we did actually catch fish. My whole purpose was testing new equipment. I was testing those sand spikes. I was testing that Ninja Dagger that I love and just getting some practice casting and things like that. If you like this content, push that like, push the subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put a new video out. But we thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you all. And until next time, tight lines, God bless, and have an awesome week.